Hello everyone, it's Pagadish here and I'm so delighted to be back to share with all of you another anime Kuji to all of you and I'm featuring today is none other than the Ichiban Kuji Animal Crossing New Horizon. So whether you are a hardcore fan of Animal Crossing or not, whether you like the prices, this price I would say to all of you, they're absolutely kawaii. And before I will show you my live reaction, here are the price lots right here that I will show to you. And I bought this um, huge um, border uh, through, um, uh, was this through Amazon, but I used the Baik uh, method. So following through the A price and all the way to the last one price. So the A price we have is the alarm clock or just a clock of Mr. Tom. Then the B price is the ATM piggy bank, which I find this one super, super kawaii. C price is the long blanket or long um, knee towel. The length is around 100 cm. D price is a shovel, which is actually a spoon uh, shovel. And there's total three kinds. E price is the uh, radish, a white radish. It was like a small plate kind. And it's really, really adorable. Even the pattern that's inside as well. F price is a mammal pad and the theme that represents the Able Sisters you can see there at the border. Then the lowest price, the G price, are the hand towels. Total of 7 kinds. Then the last one price on the top right corner is the um, pelican. Which I kept saying it that is actually a dodo but my sister said it's not a dodo, it's a pelican. So uh, just to be honest, I not am familiar with the, each and every one of these characters' names. I do know a few, but I don't really play a lot of it. I just watch people play it. So I do apologize if I'm going to say maybe a wrong name or suddenly a weird name like that. So I will apologize for this in advance. So without further ado, everyone, kindly enjoy my live reaction. Here is the result in 7th place to get the A price and the D price and feel cute of memo pads. I'm really am pleased and I'm just happy to only get a few towels because the towels we have way too many so I'm just glad that I only get like 2 towels. It would be great if I didn't get it but it really depends by the um, Kuji luck right? So 
before I will show you the A price because that's going to be the last one. So I will put the prices aside first and show you the G price first. So right here we have is the fossil and the KK. But when I went to that store, um, sadly they don't have the pouch, the money pouch that many people likes to get, which I think you call it bells instead of like cash. You call it in the um, Animal Crossing bells. So let me open this one, uh, both of them to show you how they look like. And before that, I really like the packaging, how they put it with the characters on the bottom left and right. And then the logo that represents the uh, Animal Crossing right there. And at the back, you see these characters as well. So be right back and I will open these two up. And look at this. So we see here uh, KK at the front right here. And then look at the top right there. There's a musical notes right there. And then his uh, name KK right there. And then himself. And then another KK with the music notes again. And then we flip to the back right here. Just a reverse uh, color, but it looks good in both ways, honestly. So my sister would be so pleased once uh, she would get this, of course, because I actually told her about this and she really, really loves KK so much. Then we also have the fossils right here and whoops, my bad, it's the other way around. So it's a very, very and simple design of the fossils with the shiny right there. Not shiny Pokemon, it's a shiny fossil right here. And I really want to get the, um, the bells, the money pouch version, but it's already gone. So I was lucky to get this one because there's only a few left. And look at the back here. Nothing much, but just shows you the tag right here. That's official from the Ichiban Kuchi itself. And of course, here's the fossil, towel, and the KK towel. And here we have the F price. So since I only have three, so I chose only three kinds, well, which all of them still represents the April Sisters. So one here is the green checkered version, the autumn theme version, and the winter theme version. So all of these three memo pads are very different. Like aside from the uh, background right here, right the front, but inside are also different. So I will open each one of these. And I will show you what I mean. First is the spring version with this kind of a button kind. Let me recall of Caroline, that film kind. So here how it looks like at the front and at the back right here. So if we flip it from here, there's different patterns. So I'm going to do this very fast. Like starting from the bottom will be much more uh, convenient. So the last one we see is like when you write those kanji words, like the Japanese words right here. So as I scroll all the way to the very top, you will see there's actually a different pattern. So it's still all the kanjis, 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 right? As I flip all the way here, it goes to a different pattern right there. Then all the way up again, you will see there's only three kinds. It's going to be the same thing for the other two as well. So we pick up for the winter version with these four characters and then with the English word Animal Crossing New Horizon. So starting at the very bottom right here. So again, with the kanji words, but just the uh, different characters. As you see me, I'm just scrolling up. Uh, do apologize for the blurriness. So scrolling all the way up again. That's a lot of kanji words of the paper for a memo pad. And then right here, we'll see the penguin, the fox. Uh, then with the fox again or deer, because it's so blurry. So apologize for that. And then going all the way up is the wolf with the cute panda and another penguin once some more. So let me press that again to let you see clearly of the pattern. So it's really a lovely design. So and we have the last one to go, which is like the autumn uh, season. And then we see these cute characters once more. So starting from the bottom, you see the kanji words, right? All the way, all the way. That's a lot of thickness you can see. And then here, really love the background. Whoops. That's really a nice background right there. And here is the last one. And you can see these ones as well. I really find this ant eater very, very cute. And this Nico as well. So that's super adorable. Really love this theme. And I'll let my sister um, choose which one of these she will love it because these are mammal pets and she may need them. So these are the F price. 
Next up, we have is the Deep Price Spoon Shovel. And this one is definitely very, very cute. And I really don't want to use this um, spoon because it's just too adorable. And it's actually, I just prefer it as a design like that or just a cute decoration. And this uh, shovel, I really, really had a hard time to, uh, to choose because there's three kinds. And you can actually choose either the bronze, the silver, or the gold. And despite not playing a lot of the Animal Crossing, I just went for the gold. Hopefully, maybe the gold can help me find some um, treasures. I don't know. Hopefully, it could give me a little bit of luck for this year, for year 2022. And you can see even the paper, how they just designed it is very, very uh, adorable. Like finding fossils right there. And then here's the back. And you see all the lineups for the three colors. So going to quickly uh, open this and show to you this very adorable uh, shovel spoon oh my goodness just how adorable this shovel is very very adorable look at that even the shiny detail they really uh, nailed it you can see all the way from the head to toe like that I'm just showing it to you very clearly as properly as I can then here is the back and there's also the credits right there saying um, Nintendo if you can see it there the word Nintendo all the way and oh my gosh they really really done it so well and it's really a good shovel just like to scoop it up with your dessert like that because it's actually meant like uh, to eat a dessert like ice cream or pudding like so but for me I would just rather not use it and just put it as a cute design like that. Just, I don't know where to hang it or maybe give me some um, luck like that for future um, Kuji that I may plan to play for this year. So, this is the D prize. And last but not least, the A prize. Yay! Though I was hoping to get the B prize because B prize is actually my most favorite prize of all honestly but a price is also very very adorable of mr tom right here yes you can see with his uh planning at desk if you may call it maybe it could be wrong but you can see it is very adorable and this is actually a alarm clock many people call it alarm clock so before i get open to this here is the background a simple background like a tropical theme of the animal crossing and then here is the side of mr tom of both left and right and for the back just some guidance and then here it requires you um two batteries and then on top which is the other way around showing you the a price which i'll put it back on the right way like so and now let's dive into this and here is mr tom the a price alarm clock and before we start setting him up here is of course the instruction manual shows you the setting right here and how do you place of course the uh, batteries and yes the batteries it's actually a triple a battery and the instructions are all written in japanese unfortunately so it will really take me time to really um sort out which one is which which button to start off but here as you look at the button it shows you here is the minute here's the second and then here i'm guessing it's like a start and a stop that's my guess because i'm still trying my best to um read uh, japanese because so far i you know like very very basic ones so just put this one down the side and of course i will definitely need to put the batteries and we're all set so the moment you plug in or put in already the triple a batteries you will see here the uh, all of the uh, zero zero numbers correct so before we start the setting up and of course get myself confused of the buttons, let's look at the design of Mr. Tom and his um, construction table right here. So we can see there's a time right there and Mr. Tom himself with this uh, tropical outfit which is very very cute. And we can see the table right here which is like the planner like that, like planning like how do you build a house like that and the ruler, the measurements, the pencils and then here the, um, I forgot what's your name again. And then here are the paints of the black or silver kind and then here is like I think like a coffee kind of color. Underneath is our speaker right above there. And then going around here is the back and where I place the AAA batteries. So the min is going to be my right side right here. The second will be in this, uh, the middle and then the forward could be start or stop. So hopefully this will work. 
so oh here it is so it's like um one minute there we go so i just press a minute then here's the second and I believe this is like a start right yep i got it right so let's try to stop this again yep so start and stop was going to be my far my far left but the button here is the far right so the moment it reached to zero there will be a special uh, music popping out that will last for around 50 seconds so let me try to set this up again nope not that my bad so the minute can go even more further so the, pre the longer i press it will go really really long that's super super long okay i don't know how long will it goes but it even goes longer what the heck and I've made the number really, really long. So let me set it up and let's put it to five seconds, right? That took me actually a few minutes to realize that it's actually like, in fact, a timer. So the moment it starts reaching to zero, it will have the sound. And the run numbers right here, right? The first two digits, it can go up to nine, 99. So surprisingly, so I have to press longer until I reach to the number zero, zero. And then for the seconds, it will reach until 60 and then it will set to zero back again so now i leave it to five seconds and then we will be able to hear right here of the sound so let's start on my right uh, my left so start And that's 50 seconds to be exact and it is really really a cute alarm clock honestly but not really alarm clock remember this is actually in fact a timer just a timer not an alarm clock so I had to bear that in mind and it's really really adorable so this is really really cute uh, figurine if you don't want to set it as a um, like a timer you can just display it as a figure it's actually very very adorable and this is the a price oh but wait a minute seems like i am missing something right i know i actually played seven plays isn't it all seven um prizes in my possession but i think there is something that i have to show before i end this video right and I have no choice but to purchase the B Price ATM piggy bank. I could not resist it when I saw it on the Amazon Japan, and I have to order this before I get this opened. Here is the design of the B Price. So here's the front side, the side view. How do you uh, insert the uh, AA batteries? Not AAA, is AA batteries, and then you can put the yen coins. And then once you put in the coins. It will make this very cute sound and how do you open and close the knot right here like how do you put, insert the money and then the size and the warnings and stuff and the back right here and now let's dive in and to open this kawaii b price here it is everyone the atm piggy bank and the design wise even though it's very simple very just basic kind i still love the way how they just make this as a actual um atm machine as you can see whatever it's the name or the company name of this animal crossing and then these ones are just like um simple display the right side and the left side of the logo that represents the animal crossing then to the back here is where you'll be putting the two double A's, uh, double A batteries, which I just uh, simply inputted in. And then the invisible um, credits right here, which you can't really see. Then the speaker up here, which you will be able to hear the moment I will put in the coin. So you might be curious, is it only um, Japanese coins or can be any other coins? Which I 
for that i will explore it to you right now since i have uh some of my hong kong dollar monies but only coins not that only um coins that can fit into this one and miraculously i have a bunch of these yen money that i kept through my you know um my journeys when i was with my friend to tokyo um five years ago and two years ago so these are all the japanese yen money right here so we'll be putting first the japanese money so let's say i'll put in the one yen there we go if you can see the one yen so let's try to input right here if you can see the bank and it's very sensitive so i noticed it didn't go all the way in since this very small i'll have to go a little bit bigger which i'll put in the 100 yen so let's try again like that and the more i keep going with more of these uh, small yen that actually goes let's say under 10 seconds so i wasn't expecting that to go on i was about to say at least two times of the kaching and then the third one the third time it will go like that so let's try putting this 500 yen like that all the way in and let's try if this can go in i this is just only time so let's try oh it cannot because it's very very thick so five hong kong dollars about this size this length it will never work but if it's around let's say um cents like these hong kong dollars cents or let's say a one hong kong dollar should be able to fit right here that works and then for 50 cents hong kong dollars let's try again and it just cut, didn't do a, cut, uh, the music. What happened? So I need to go all the way. There. And that's about it. And this is really, really unique. And I'm going to put all of the um, yen coins that I saved up from my uh, Japan trip. That's really... Uh, time goes by very fast. So I'm going to put all of these in there. And note that these ones is only meant for just yen, just yen monies. And this is the B price. And for my conclusion, all of these prices are just absolutely kawaii and so phenomenal. So huge credit for those who actually thought of this design wise. And the creativity of this is just so, so amazing yet indeed. And of course, before I end this video, let me know which one of these prices do you like the most. Whether it is the top price, the lowest price, or one of these prices in my possession. And of course, if you do enjoy this video everyone, don't forget to hit the like button right here the thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video